A Kearns man is struggling to accept the death of his dog. Well, that's after an on-duty police officer shot and killed it. It happened at a business near 5300 West and 4300 South last night. Good for Utah's Allie Monson joins us live in studio with this story. Allie? That's right, Nadia. The dog's owner actually lives in a motorhome off to the side of the business. He says he's too emotional to talk about the shooting right now, so his friend who owns the company spoke with us instead. I could hear him yelling, Otis, get back here, get back here. And then I heard three shots. Stanley Kelsch was on the phone with his friend when he heard the fatal gunfire. I told him, do not go out there, do not, don't get aggressive, stay there, I'll be right there. The Kearns business owner was resting at home when an alarm went off at his company, Popular Design Mill and Cabinet. Kelsch says he worried someone had broken in, so asked his friend to go check it out. He lives here. We have a yard that he keeps a trailer in, and he stays on the premises to look after things, and which has been very helpful to me. Kelsch says it didn't take long for his friend to realize everything was fine. They notified the alarm company and told the operator not to send police. It was a neighboring business that called and said there was an audible alarm going off at that business. Uh, you know, what had taken place with, you know, the alarm company and the owner was never reported to us until after the fact. Officers with the Unified Police Department responded to the property and began looking for intruders. Police say they quickly noticed someone inside the motorhome and started making their way towards it. A male had opened up a window to that motorhome, at which point in time our officers identified themselves as police to that, that male. And then the door to the motorhome came open and out came a dog that went charging at one of our officers in an aggressive manner. Meanwhile, Kelsch's friend was inside talking on the phone. He says he never heard the officers identify themselves. He asked me if I sent the police out and I said, no, I didn't. I told the alarm company not to. And he said, well, there are men out here walking around shining flashlights right here. And he didn't know who they were. Kelsch says his friend tried calling the Black Lab back to the motorhome, but by then, it was too late. It's a very unfortunate situation that happened. No officer ever wants to have to fire their weapon at a, at a dog or have to, you know, kill the dog. I do respect the law enforcement, and I know there are a lot of good cops out there. I knew the dog. I knew it was not aggressive. He loved it. It was his best friend. It, it, it really affected him. Now, the dog's owner has lived on the property for about three years now. The men plan on burying the Black Lab together later this week. Reporting live in studio, Allie Monson, Good for Utah. Thank you, Allie.